<laughs> long time no see so I am vlogging today obviously and I'm gonna be vlogging a little bit less than I used to but sometimes I am gonna vlog and today I just felt like picking up the camera so welcome to the vlog y'all but today I am just running some errands. So I just left the post office because I needed to mail out a package to one of y'all. And now I'm at a nail supply store. So I'm a nail polish junkie and my nails are actually getting really long. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> I'm a nail polish junkie and I never pay full price for nail polish. I never pay full price for most nail supplies because I found that I, well, I'm not really, I found that, <laughs> but I learned about nail supply stores and basically nail supply stores are where like nail merchants buy their stuff from. So like nail salons or I believe really just nail salons. I'm not sure if like retail stores buy their stuff from nail supply stores but basically it's like nail supplies and nail polish like wholesale prices so like OPI is like three dollars instead of the usual 10 which you'll find at like Ulta, Sephora or Walmart or do they sell OPI at Walmart? Target <laughs> but yeah so I used to have a really good one back in Atlanta. If you live in Atlanta, there's one off of Buford Highway that's amazing, but they also have a website and it's, um, I'll leave everything down in the description box. I used to order from the website until I realized it was right down the street from me and then I just started going in person. So I found this nail supply store right off the side of the road, like just randomly driving past here. So we're gonna go see if it's any good. It is hot up in here, love it, and it's bright. I tried to not have the shades on so I could connect with y'all, but it's sunny. <laughs> Florida's so weird, I tell you. It's like, I mean, I love it. It's, I believe it's like 55 degrees today, but it's so sunny. It's hot. Ooh, this scares me. Y'all, mm. I have driving anxiety okay I <laughs> it's just too much going on I get like sensory overload when I drive sometimes so I checked out that nail supply store and it was actually pretty good I couldn't get a lot of footage because I felt weird like videotaping their store and I didn't want them to think like I was trying to do something suspicious but they had OPI, they had Essie, they had Kira Sky or Kiara Sky. Um, they also had a lot of Orly. So Orly just recently came out with like halal nail polish where it's breathable. So people who uh, subscribe to that type of culture can still wear nail polish. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so they're all like $4 or less. Like OPI was $4, SE and Orly were $4. Then like Kira Sky was $3. And um, so it's pretty reasonably priced. I honestly don't need any nail polish. I just wanted to go check it out and see if they were legit. Because sometimes nail supply stores, they won't sell to you unless you have a nail license. Like if you're a licensed, um, I guess nail person I don't know what you call it but some people are like that most people aren't most of them they just want to get their money so they'll sell to you whether you're like a regular person or if you're licensed and um, they seem pretty good they don't have as much selection as the one that I'm used to in Atlanta that one is amazing that one's like if you like nail polish it's like candy land it's so good in one mile turn left to merge onto I-295 North toward International Airport okay girl <laughs> you'll spend so much money in there like I've gone in there and spent a hundred dollars easily because there was just so much like they'll have all the old collections the brand new collections and it's so cheap it's like hard not to pick everything up so yeah I'm excited that I found one nearby and um yeah honestly I really need to stay out of there because I don't need too much but I'm happy for when I want something I know where to find it this is gonna merge I hate how like things just turn into one lane around here to one lane and like that y'all honestly these past couple of days have been tough like they've been really tough so I've been trying to make videos that have I don't know I guess like a deeper meaning for me when I first started my channel I always knew that I wanted to do hair stuff like 
empowering your curl, I knew it was going to be like, of course, about hair, but also about empowering yourself, like realizing that there's power in what makes you different, like your hair isn't something to be ashamed of. And but yeah, I always knew that I wanted to do videos that were talking about hair, but also stuff that didn't talk about hair, more so just talked about like life and just make videos on things that I wish that I had access to when I was going through certain things. So I'm kind of starting to get into the flow of that now. And I recently tried to film a video that I was super excited about and I felt like was gonna be super helpful to y'all. And I don't think it came out that good. <laughs> so it was a little bit discouraging because I put so much time and thought into it. Like I thought about the video for like two weeks. Like I had it all set up in my head. And then when I actually went down to go film it, it didn't turn out how I expected it to. And it kind of just made me feel like meh. And sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes things that get me down, like when it comes to creating, I will let that affect like my whole week. So if something goes wrong, like on a Monday, I won't feel like filming again until like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday of next week because I have to like get over the disappointment of, you know, that first video. And I think the reason why is because like I put such high expectations on the content that I want to create that I kind of psych myself out. So like if it doesn't come out how I want to, then it's just like, okay, well, what's the point of making videos? And that's not like a logical thing to think, but sometimes that's what I think. And I have to get out of that <laughs> because like really like what happened on Monday caused me to not film or edit Monday or Tuesday. And now it's Wednesday and I want to get a video out for y'all. And I don't have anything that I can get out to you quickly. So I kind of am just realizing that in a way, like when you put such high expectations on things and allow your disappointment with them not coming out how you imagined in your head um, to keep you, like to hold you back, like you're really getting in your own way. And that's what I've been doing for a lot of the past few months. Like I will get into my own way or even I'll have such a big expectation of a video and what I want it to be like that I won't even film it because it's like I don't even know how to make it as good as it is in my head so I just won't even try and um yeah I just wanted to share that in case y'all are going through something similar or like not even in relation to content creation and there's a saying that my leak teal says all the time and it's feelings are not facts and they will pass if you allow them to and that is my goal to a let <laughs> to a let <laughs> But like my goal for the next month of February is to not let my feelings about what I'm creating like get in the way of me actually creating. Because sometimes what's in your mind is not the truth. Stay in the left two lanes. And if you allow that to like affect what you do, like you can be holding your own self back <laughs> basically is what I'm realizing. So yeah. Yeah, I just had to share that with y'all. So sometimes like when you don't see videos from me, it's not because like I don't care or like I'm just going to MIA. Like sometimes I'm struggling in my head with trying to create what I want to create. Okay, I turned off the GPS. So it was really funny. I, um, today I was feeling like, okay, like I've had a really tough past two days. I need to get on it today. Like I'm not going to stop for anything. I'm not going to let anything bring me down. I'm just going to block it all out and try to do what I need to do. And I watched this video. I believe in signs. I honestly do. Like I feel like the universe gives signs and gives cues to things that you need. You just have to kind of like open your eyes and pay attention to it. And so I was wanting to like watch something while I was eating, but I didn't want to watch TV. So I was like, okay, I'll just watch a YouTube video real quick and then I'll go um, take that package out like I needed to. And so the video that was at the very top of my subscription feed was this video saying, what does it say? Like, it's okay to suck. And I was like, oh, I need to hear that. And so I clicked on it and it was basically just a video talking about like how when you're creative, you sometimes have to give yourself the space to suck because when you put like such pressure on yourself to always be good like you block out your creative process and you kind of sell yourself short because you don't allow yourself to grow you don't allow yourself to experience things and a lot of the times like some of the best projects or processes come from failing and honestly the video that I made on Monday although I don't think it turned out how I wanted it to it gave me a really good idea of like the layout that I want my next video 
that I shoot like that to be and it also helped me kind of like loosen up and like really be able to give y'all the real like transparentness of what I was talking about and so yeah I just have to keep that in mind like and we all do I think I just have to keep that in mind that sometimes it's okay to suck and you just need to create like just create something today whether it sucks or like don't have any expectation for it just create something and I want to get into the habit of doing that more because I really do want to just uh, help y'all truly like I feel like I have so much inside of me that I want to share with y'all and I have to allow myself to get that out basically but it's just good hearing it aloud, you know? Like sometimes I'll drive and I mean, I won't really talk to myself, but I'll just drive and I'll just think. And it makes me feel better driving. As much anxiety as it gives me sometimes, it's like cathartic as well. Like it's therapeutic when I'm really just, mm, like I'm just down, like I'm dwelling on stuff and I just can't get over it. Like driving seriously helps. I feel like I've been driving for a really long time, but I think I'm going the right way. I'm trying to go somewhere without the GPS because I GPS everything, everything, especially because we move around so much. Like it takes me a long time to figure out where things are. And now that we move, sometimes I don't even try. Like I'll just GPS it. I'm like, whatever, we're leaving in like a year anyway. So <laughs> I'm just gonna GPS it. So I'm back to the house and I picked up some lunch on the way home and I did make it home without the GPS. So I feel very accomplished right now, but let me show you guys what I got for lunch. So apparently Publix has $5 sushi on Wednesday. So I got a salmon and a tuna roll with like spicy shrimp sauce on top. And I also got uh, some fried chicken. <laughs> so I'll probably eat like a little piece of this along with my sushi. So yeah, I'm just going to eat and watch Harry Potter because if you guys haven't heard, HBO is streaming every single movie of the series and I love Harry Potter. So I started over from the beginning. So I'm watching like the very first one, which is honestly like my least favorite one. What's y'all's favorite Harry Potter movie if you're into Harry Potter? I think my favorite was probably the one, I think it's the Half-Blood Prince. I think that one or Prisoner of Azkaban. And then of course like the last one the last one was really good it was just like not like the normal ones so yeah but i'm just gonna enjoy my food and watch my harry potter and i think i'm actually gonna go ahead and put this vlog up today i don't really have much to vlog for the rest of the week so i ate and the sushi was eh, it was okay i don't think i'm gonna get sushi from Publix again but that fried chicken though that fried chicken was hitting, <laughs> but we already knew that public chicken is so good. But, um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog, but before I do, I have a package to unpackage with you guys from one of my Insta friends. So I'm going to go grab it now and then we're going to unbox it. Got to get my hydration on. Okay. So. This is, yes, this is my Christmas tree that I have yet to put away. <laughs> um, Y'all, February is tomorrow and my Christmas tree is still in my house. I meant to take this down two weeks ago and I just never did. So I might do that tonight, actually. I don't, I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going into February with the tree at least decorated. I'm just gonna decorate it tonight and then we'll throw it out as soon as we can. But anyway, so I got a package from my Instagram friend, The Blended Beauty. I believe it's The Blended Beauty. And her name is Flo or Florence and she does like skincare reviews and hair care reviews on Instagram and she's amazing I love her so much honestly I know that might be a little weird to say but I love how encouraging she is I love her content I love how thorough she is so if you guys are looking for somebody to follow on Instagram follow her but basically I um, 
I was talking to her because I've been going through it with my skin lately and I was telling her how I felt like I needed a new moisturizer and if she knew of any ones that she like would recommend because she's really into skincare. So she recommended the Butter Bar Aloe Papaya Moringa Skin Balancing Moisturizer and at first she recommended it to me like when we were talking and I was like oh, okay that sounds really cool I'm gonna have to check it out and then she was like oh do you want me to just send it to you and I was just like sure <laughs> and she sent it to me and I was just I don't know it was just super duper sweet so this is a black owned product I believe and it's um let's see do, 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 do. it says after cleansing with black honey face cleanser and using the apples honey and green tea toner that sounds so good use a dime sized amount and smooth evenly onto your face so it's a moisturizer and so some of the ingredients are sunflower seed oil apricot oil aloe vera leaf juice um lactic acid and benzoic acid that's really good hmm usually you don't see those types of ingredients and like this looks like a handmade product i'm not sure i don't really know that much about my butter bar but that's really cool um papaya infused oil moringa red raspberry seed oil this sounds really cool okay so i'm gonna try this I'm just gonna try it on the back of my hand and see how it applies. Can you guys see that? Whoa. <laughs> okay, I was expecting that to be way thicker. This is like really runny. Can y'all see? I'm about to have to use this as, this is really lightweight. I'm just gonna use it as a lotion. Hmm, whoa. I'm gonna have to rub some on my knees, rub some on my knees <laughs> and my elbows. Okay, lesson learned, use that with caution. <laughs> So along with this moisturizer, she actually sent me some other stuff and it was just so nice. So the first thing that I have here is a Timeless Mela Shot Bio Mask. And this is like a Korean skincare item. I'm gonna let you guys, like, let me zoom in. So this is what it looks like. And I'm not even gonna lie, I have no idea how to use this, but it looks really cool. And all the instructions are in Korean, if you can see that. Yeah, you probably can't see it. So all the instructions are in Korean and because of that, I really don't know how this is supposed to work. It says, let your skin feel the remarkable changes with advanced fermentation science. And it has biomimetic water. I'm so confused, but this looks so cool. I'm gonna I'm have to like look up how to use this, but it's like a little like syringe type thing. Like, I don't know if this is just a regular mask or what. But okay, so yeah, I got this. And then, as a little treat, she also sent me, so this first thing is a mineral wellness soak with eucalyptus, and it's from Karisten Florian. And so you basically put this whole packet of bath salts in the bath, and it's supposed to give like aromatherapy that has a rare balance of 60 essential minerals and trace elements to deeply nourish, detoxify, and rebalance the body. Oh my gosh. I might use this today because like I said these past couple of days have been just a little bit you know sometimes you have those days and that's okay but I think I'm going to pour into myself by pouring this into my bath tonight <laughs> next thing <laughs> alrighty so this is I think this goes together okay that makes sense maybe this is how it goes because it has the same like type of packaging but this is the perfect fit mask that's moisturizing and it's waterfall bamboo with oriental dewdrop and marine science so this is a advanced biocellulose biocellulose mask huh i'm really gonna have to look up how to use this you guys it's like I've never used Korean skincare before. I know a lot of people talk about it and I've always wanted to get into it, but I didn't know what to get because it just seems like a whole other world. So this is gonna be like my intro into Korean beauty. I'm excited. Okay, I'm getting excited. And then this last thing that I have here is a retinol spa treatment mask and retinol is really good for like anti-aging and wrinkles. And it says that it has an anti-aging serum and it's for uh, facial therapy it's like a, um, a sheet mask and that it minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and delays the effects of skin aging 
and the ingredients look pretty good too so I'm just super excited if you guys didn't see this is what it looks like I'm just really excited and I feel so blessed that she would send me all of this so thank you Flo thank you so much but yeah so that's all I have for this vlog today. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like vlogs like this where it's really just kind of like a day with me instead of like it stretched out over a whole week or you know a long span of time, let me know down below in the comments. And I hope that you guys have a blessed, encouraging, productive rest of your week. Don't let anything get you down if you have something that you're focused on. Put that at the forefront of your mind and just put the blinders on and focus on that. But okay, so I'm going to go edit this so I can get this up for you guys today. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.